Here in Music City, more than 7,000 American Farm Bureau members gathered at the Gaylord Opryland Resort and Convention Center for this year's annual convention and trade show. The convention was kicked off with an opening session from Farm Bureau's president, Zippy Duval, which was just elected to his second term during the convention. I can't think of a better place than here in Nashville to kick off our year and celebrate Farm Bureau's rich history and our bright future. The general sessions were packed full as important topics to the agriculture community were addressed. President Duval set the tone during the opening session as he brought up some hot topics like tax reform. It's thanks to your engagement that Congress passed tax reform la last year, giving farmers a new 20% deduction on their business income, doubling the state ta uh, tax, exemption, tax exemption, and preserving tax credits that farmers depend on and lowering our individual tax rate. He also made sure to address the growing concerns about trade negotiations that have been going on for some time. As I traveled, I have discovered that even some of us within agriculture don't understand what's at stake if we lose these trade agreements. Trade should not, should not be a dirty word because without those global markets, and with our already depressed farm economy, would get even worse. The United States exports about half of the agricultural products we produce to foreign markets. Duval wasn't shy to mention that, along with the importance in maintaining good trade relations. He even suggested that even more markets need to be created to expand exports that much more. If we lose those markets, where's that agricultural product, product production gonna go? And how are we as farmers and ranchers gonna make up for that lost income. We can't afford to lose those farm markets. And in fact, we need to be opening up new markets. We need to pursue opportunities and eliminate trade barriers in Asia and the European Union and all around the world. The United States Secretary of Agriculture was even in attendance. He too spoke about trade and its importance to American agriculture. He made sure to stress to farmers that they will not be left out at the negotiation table. We know, we know that trade is a key to far rural and farm prosperity. Canada and Mexico continue to be major markets for United States exports. So a successful completion and improvement of the NAFTA negotiations remains a top priority of this administration. But to get a deal, we need all sides to seriously roll up their sleeves and get to work. Secretary Purdue also spoke about another important topic, and that is unity, and how important it is to make sure agriculture's voice is heard to those in Washington. I want to encourage you, I want to exhort you, do not ever stop speaking up for the American farmer. Your voice is powerful. No longer can we afford to hide behind the gates of our farms and expect the world to tell the truth about what we do, and you know that to be the case. Reporting from the American Farm Bureau Convention in Nashville for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.